today's video is just going to show you how you can just be just a little bit more self-reliant and grow and make your own herbs that will help defeat food boredom during SHTF, right after the channel intro. Remember, only you can ensure you and your family's survival. Live your life with honor and integrity, and always be the wolf hunter, don't be the sheep, and never be the wolf. Welcome, I'm an avid prepper, an oath keeper, and I'm certified to teach the use of deadly force. If you want to learn actual prepping skills and how to protect yourself legally, then please subscribe and also click the bell icon so you won't miss whenever a video is released. We're in this together, so welcome to this community. Folks, there's really nothing special in today's video. This was my first year doing this and I was just surprised how easy it was to grow and dry my own herbs. Herbs that can be used for seasonings that would help combat food boredom should SHTF happen. And I'm sure you've seen me use it as B-roll in other videos, but in the spring I purchased one of those herb towers and I, and I put it together from an idea that I got from Corey's channel called Prepared to Thrive, and a link to this video should be appearing in the upper right hand corner of this video about now. But I liked how his system with the herb towers allowed me to uh, recycle the water. But I purchased one of those herb towers and I, and I only used dirt from my garden beds to fill it. I didn't use any special store bought potting soil or anything like that. And in this tower we grew basil and thyme and oregano and cilantro and I also have to admit I also tried growing stevia in it also and I quickly learned that the stevia plant is much too large of a plant to grow in an herb container like this. But it was nice because throughout this growing season whenever we was cooking dinner we were able just to come out here and just cut off whatever herbs we needed for the dinner that night. Now, I actually kind of neglected actually getting the remaining herbs harvested before we had some overnight freezes. So we lost quite a bit of them to freeze or burn when the overnight temperatures dropped to below freezing. But between the freezer burn and also what we had picked and eaten fresh, we still got a pretty decent little amount at the end of the year that I was able to dry and bottle for later use. Now the basil, we ended up totally losing to freezer burn but we still used quite a bit of that fresh for our dinners throughout the year. Now the cilantro that we grew, we had pretty much eaten all of that up before the end of the growing season, but the thyme and the oregano, I was able to actually harvest those. Now what I still need to learn how to do is to let them come to seed and also learn how to save their seeds so I can regrow them year after year. Now I've studied how to do that and I've also got printed materials on how to do that, but I don't consider a skill to be actually learned until a person has actually physically done it successfully. And I didn't hang them up to dry out or anything like that. I just simply let them sit out for a couple of weeks over my fireplace mantle before they were just dry enough to, to use. Now if this were SHTF, I would have a lot more than just this one herb tower growing. Because this one tower just would not provide the amount of herbs needed for just my one family. But in my suburban backyard, I'm just doing a lot of different growing and experimenting and learning. And that's the important part here, is that I'm getting good hands-on learning and practice. And I found that it was just easier just to let the oregano and the thyme to dry on the stems. And once they were dried, it just seemed like it was just easier just to strip the leaves off of the stems and let it fall onto the plate. Now I really didn't pay as much attention to the herb tower as much as I should have, especially once it got later into the year. Towards the end of the growing season, we were just kind of letting it grow wild and we really only came out and clipped a little bit off of it as we needed it. 
and we probably could have harvested a lot more from it had I done my due diligence with it and harvested them before our first freeze of the season came on. Now to label the jars, I just simply use those, those types of labels that are designed where they come off really easily when you wash them. I don't know the, the name of those labels. I know they usually sell them with canning supplies, but I just simply use those type of labels to mark up what's gonna end up being on the bottle. And then after I got the bottles labeled, then I just simply put the finished dried herbs into those bottles for us to use as needed. So here's the finished product. There's no big huge amount. There's nothing big or shiny or spectacular about it. There's, there's just a couple of bottles of homegrown dried herbs. Herbs that could really help combat food boredom during SHTF. But while there's nothing big or spectacular about these two little bottles of homegrown dried herbs, they sure do taste better than anything that I've bought off the store shelf. So for you brand new preppers that may have no experience with gardening or anything like that, this video is just to give you something to think about and, and to consider giving it a try. I have to admit it's pretty awesome when you need a little flavoring for your dinner and you're just able to walk out your back door and grab it fresh out of your garden. So what I have found is, is that when I give a little bit of information in my videos that are usually aimed towards newer preppers, I found that, you know, usually new preppers really find all of the information valuable. But then I also find that experienced preppers who may have just a little bit of weakness in that particular subject also find that video valuable too. And then there, I also find that experienced preppers who have a particular strength in that particular subject will comment with some really great information. So what happens in my videos is, between all of the different topics and between the different people who some are weak in some topics but strong in other topics, but when we're all sharing this information, we're making these videos a wealth of information together. So you good people who are experienced at growing and drying herbs, please comment below and share with us what herbs or spices or whatever else that you like to grow is but also share any tips or tricks about growing them too. And for you people who are newer at this, check those comments out below that's been left by others. And, and again, together we will learn a lot. And I'll be totally honest, this was my first time ever growing and drying herbs. So I'm sure I'll be learning a lot from you good people who comment on this video. And also learning each year that I continue to grow and dry my own herbs also. Anyways, folks, if you made it this far, hey, thank you very much for watching, and I pray that you have a good night.